What's up, y'all? It's W, and I'm back with the second volume of the Carolina Panthers Ace Mini Scheme. And this one is the best way I've found to attack the deep middle of the field. You know it's hard with the 91 zones. You know it's, it's a great compliment to be able to attack deep down the middle of the field when you also mix in the corner strike that was the first volume. And this play we're going to look at is flanker curl. Now, this post route is kind of like Z-Spot from last year, where it has a tail in the beginning, it delays, so by the time it crosses the middle of the field, the deep blue zones will be deep down the field. So this is why I found us the best compliment after running corner strike for so long. And here you go, boom, right in the middle of the field and cover three, right in the middle of all those deep blue zones. You can find a nice spot to hit this route. The main setup I like to use is to streak the tight end away from the post, take the deep blues down the field, and drag the opposite receiver. That way you can have a short option to pick up a lot of yards. What I feel what happens with this a lot is that because the post, there's no other route on the side of the post, all the soft squats and vert hooks will run with the post. So if you have time for your drag to get to the other side of the field, you'll get a lot of yards. There you go, bang, the cloud flat is so far down the field, we got 8 yards, if I make a better move, that can be 15 yards. And again, this is a lot of pressure, man blitz, and you go ahead and your drag and get a lot of yards. Put your speedy guy there, get some extra yards. That's why I keep the drag with the post, so you have a short option and a deep option. On top of that, they'll already be sitting on the flats because you're running corner strike. And here we go to soft squat, we'll man up with the post, but we'll still be able to throw it to Devin Funches. But if you saw there, if the soft squad went with the post, we'd have been able to hit the uh, underneath route for a big play because the soft squad manned up on the post. That's why I like having the drag and just the post. So here you go again. Hit the drag underneath and get big plays because the post takes all those soft squats and vert hooks down the field. And the other way I like to run this is to go again with the double drags to my tight ends and slant the beat. It allows you to get the ball to your big horses, run some people over and get some extra yards but also have the deep middle of the field as an option. So I feel like this is the perfect complement to the corner strike setup I showed you in volume one. Here we go again, hitting the post over the middle of the field with the two drags and the slant. Mix this in with your corner strike and your run plays, 0-1 traps and your inside zones. Make force them to be in these four threes and three fours where you can pass effectively. If you don't want to face dollar, you don't want to face one four six, you don't want a bunch of DBs on the field, ace is a perfect way to combat that. That's why I love the formation, that's why I'm going to go ahead and give you a mini scheme to use two tight ends on the field. That way you can pound those little DBs and you can also pass effectively against extra linebackers. So if you like this tip, you like the Carolina mini scheme, please hit the sub, please like and comment on this post. I'm really trying to grow this and bring y'all more videos from here on out.